everyone. My name is Cynthia. Let's talk books. And today I want to talk about the book that I think will be my favorite book of the year. Now, December is not over, so it's still possible that there will be a book that will beat this one out. Uh, but so far in 2018, this is the book that just speaks to me the most. <laughs> Um, without further ado, I want to uh, show it to you, and it is Sal and Gabby Break the Universe by Carlos Hernandez. It's a middle grade book, and this has been such a shock to me in 2019. Um, I've read uh, a few middle grade books, and I did not expect like my favorite book of 2019 to be a middle grade book, but it has. Uh, so first of all, it is, uh, there's Latinx representation here. The main characters are all Cuban American. Um, it is own voices, but I love that the author makes it clear that like his experience of being uh, Cuban American is not everybody's experience. Um, and I really appreciated uh, that um, at the end of the book in the author's note. Uh, but all right, Sal and Gabby break the universe. So um, it is a kind of fantasy sci-fi middle grade. Uh, Sal is our main character. He is a young magician who uh, is experiencing grief. He has lost his mother. And after the loss of his mother, he discovered that he can see and move things across um, universes and timelines, uh, kind of alternate timelines, uh, where his mother hasn't disappeared and where there are things he needs. Um, he, the grief part of it, like felt very real to me. It's taken very seriously and, and yet with a lightheartedness that I really enjoyed. So like it's dealt in a way that I think people who have experienced it would appreciate it. Um, Gabby is like a Hermione type character in that she is good at school. She's good at everything she does. She's in charge. She knows what she's doing, how to do it. Um, and the minute she enters the room, she's taking charge of it really, really loved Gabby as a type A person myself. <laughs> I saw a lot of chunks of me in Gabby. Uh, she also has a little brother that is in the ICU, was born prematurely and is having a lot of health issues. Um, so again, it, it, the book is dealing with a lot of heavy topics, uh, but this is not a heavy book. Um, so I just want to note that because I'm like, as I'm going through themes, I'm thinking, wow, these are real heavy things. Uh, but they're handled um, just really, really beautifully. Uh, family is a main theme here. Sal uh, has a mixed family. His dad has remarried and he has a stepmother. His stepmother is not an evil witch like a lot of stepmothers get portrayed in literature. Uh, she's kind, caring, um, is part of his life in a way that makes it very clear that she's not there to replace his mother or anything like that. And um, she she cares about him She and also wants to let him grieve and process his grief in his own way. It's really beautiful. Then we have Gabby's family. Hers is a large kind of found family. Uh, she has a ton of dads, like they all, they all have their own little names and they're all like Gabby's dad who does this, Gabby's dad who does that. Um, it's really quite beautiful and like nobody bats an eye at it. It's all just taken as like, okay, that's what it is, which felt very much true through the perspective of like a middle grade kid. Um, so that like really resonated with me as feeling extremely true. Another heavy topic that the book deals with is um, abuse in the home. Uh, one of the side characters is dealing with that. Um, and again, it's in there. It's taken seriously. And uh, But there's such a lightheartedness in this book. I laughed out loud. And while I can cry at the drop of a pin reading pretty much anything, um, making me laugh is much much harder and that's also specific to like we all have our different sense of humor but i just found like so much lightheartedness fun joy in this book and it came at exactly the right time uh, when i needed something like this and it was just so beautifully portrayed coming in with a lot of other like heavier beautiful themes i just I cannot speak highly enough of this book. I really, really, really recommend it. Um, it was the November Latinx Book Club pick, um, and that's why I picked it up, or that's why I read it uh, now. I didn't finish it till December, though. 
um, I had already bought it before the, the club picked it uh, because it was during the Barnes & Noble uh, sale. Um, so I would really recommend you uh, keep an eye out for this book. If you see it, uh, pick it up. If your library has it, check it out. Um, and I, I'm just really grateful to Carlos Hernandez uh, for this story. I wanted to share kind of my joy uh, with this book. Uh, uh, with you all and uh, that is it uh, thank you so much uh, for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye